Hi guys, it's Joe. Um, I wanted to share with you um, this project that was two years in the making. Actually, no, I made it two years ago. <laughs> and I'm finally making the video for it because I'm giving it to somebody to send to somebody, blah, blah, blah. And I need to make the video before I no longer have it in my possession. But anyway, so a while back for um, a DT project for Carla's Etsy store, I made um, a camera box and I had given it to Bona and I'll put the link of that video in the description box so you guys can see that old camera. And then like a month later, I made another one at a crop with some of my girlfriends and um, I finished it but I never made a video. So I think two years later, I'm ready to make a video. Um, I got the inspiration from Lolly Rot 7 I'll put the tutorial for her camera in the description box below because I tried making a tutorial for this um, camera but it didn't work out it was too much of a pain in the butt to do a start to finish so I nixed it and now you're just gonna get the finished product but let me show you um, this is my prototype and it's just regular tape and whatever and there's like a mini camera but once you make this once it's pretty easy to make a ton but that's whatever. This is just templates and stuff like that. So basically it's just your regular card box base and then you add the top part for the flash, the side part here for the handle, you add the um, circle lens and stuff. So it's just um, a regular box with all the little knickknacks for the camera. The box, I'm going to try to remember because again this is this prototype is two years old mind you. So the box is nine by seven and three quarters and I scored it at two inches on all four sides and that's what made this box right here. And then this top part is eight and a half by six and seven eighths and I scored it at one and a half inch on all four sides and then I put that box together and so this is the top lid and this is the bottom and I think that there's like a little gap so that um, when I add the ribbon for the straps it'll still be snug but it'll have room to put it and then um, this little handle part here it's two and a half by three and seven eighths scored at three quarters of an inch on um, the left and right side and then I just like snipped it in a little bit so it has that little angle part and then you could just cut um, a piece to cover this up and then just snip off the sides. You just have to play around with it and then the top part here for the uh, viewfinder um, slash flash it is one and a half by three and an eighth of an inch scored at three quarters of an inch on both sides and then you just score it and then you um, glue it to the top. Um, as for the lens part here, it is eight and a half by two and seven eighths and then I scored it um, on the eight and a half inch side. I scored it at half an inch. So on the long side I scored it half an inch here and then half an inch there. And then you make these little little um, slits here like crocodile teeth and then so that it can um, bend to this round shape here. And then you just um, get a circle punch or a circle cutter to fit the um, lens part here and then I just cut a piece of acetate and then I cut a smaller circle inside so that it has this little frame here. So I hope that makes sense. If not, just go watch um, Maria's video and again I'll put the link to her camera tutorial in the description box below. So anyway, so that's my prototype and this is my finished camera. It um, is using, I think it is the uh, Union Square uh, die cuts with the view paper stack and so it's pretty old but that is the paper stack that I use and then um, this is the back and I use this gorgeous um, stamped image and I had uh, borrowed the stamped the stamps from Gina during a crop and um, this is how I colored her and then I paper pieced her outfit 
and then this was like a little heart image from that stamp set also so I just um, cut it out color shaded it with my Copics a little bit and added like a little um, heart sticker this frame right here this um, film strip right here is from Sizzix and then I laid some acetate underneath it so there's still room to put like a picture behind here this is um, I think this was the Tim Holtz film strip, the um, little acetate um, embellishment there. This was just some black rhinestone bling here. And so that is the back part. And then um, I just added some designer paper to the sides. And then inside, um, this is just a metal embellishment that I had. And then I just uh, put some more designer paper inside. And um, this is a pretty thick box. I used a uh, black matte board, so it's basically lightweight um, chipboard that came in black, so I thought that matched perfectly. So this is the bottom base. Okay, and then the top part here is just the designer paper all around. Um, for the handle right here, I added some black buttons, and then the top is a black button layered with a large black rhinestone. Um, on the top here, I put some uh, more of that Tim Holtz film strip, acetate film strip, and then um, these are more black buttons uh, layered with this little cameo button that was in my stash. And then here is just a little brad. And then the top part here, this is the mesh bling that I had um, gotten from Carla's Etsy store. This is um, just some this is just a decorative brad that has a bling on it and then um, this is from my stash just this cute little um, cloth face and then on the back here I just uh, put different sizes of black pearls and I glued it with um, glossy accents just to cover up that whole back and then inside here more designer paper and this is just a cute little camera image and then here um, I uh, punch some holes with my crocodile use these extra large uh, eyelets here oh sorry about the color change and then um, this is the uh, pleated black satin trim um, this one is actually I think this is from Maya Road or May Arts one of those but anyways it's just black pleated satin trim and then um, here's a black satin ribbon that's tied around the lens and that's just the pattern paper that I use and then um, there's a rose embellishment inside there that I glued in and put some acetate to cover it up and then I put some three uh, white rhinestones just for an embellishment. So that is the top part of the lid and then it just covers like this and then there is the camera. So here is the front. And then here's the back. So I'll put all the links to whatever I mentioned in the video in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed my camera. And thanks for watching. Bye.